<laughs> What's up guys, Rich Super Bash. I'm back out here with my Basher Queen Italian DR6S conversion. This will be run number two. I had this out maybe about a month ago. Just been kind of busy between home projects and testing parts for MTC Racing, mostly with the XRT. Big shout out to Kimberly with Basher Queen. Hopefully these are back in stock on her eBay store. She's also offering a full ready to run Italian conversion. As you guys might have seen, I went over this in pretty good detail with a bench video about a month ago. Again, this was my daughter Angie D's, basically her Italian V3 we bought several years ago. It's been an absolute ripper. Once again, this conversion kit comes with this CNC front brace. Also comes with a carbon fiber rear mount. You'll see how that extends off the tower. Comes with a standard 6S wheelie bar, aluminum top brace, and also comes with a really beefy front and rear body mount. And lastly, the kit comes with a super beefy fire team 6S front bumper. I went ahead and I took off this top panel only because I didn't feel like adding bigger washers and it was kind of starting to snag up. Just like with my fire team 6S, I went ahead and just added some fuel tubing from Home Depot. I think this was like five bucks essentially zip tied it both sides. This is kind of a simple mod, definitely adds a lot of protection, gives a little bit of cushion for hard impacts and rolls. A little more ventilation for our pilot and co-pilot. This stuff is quarter inch diameter. It's a little tough to cut. I just use wire cutters, basically cut the first couple inches in the front just to overlap on the nylon with the zip tie. Same thing in the back, just cut about an inch off of there near the fire extinguisher. You'll notice the rear tail lights protected with the tubing on here. And from what I can tell, the light bar is not gonna be snagging the ground. Biggest change for today is I went ahead and I swapped out all my electronics. Huge shout out to Rash Sheffrin. He sent me a couple more of these Perfect Pass servos. They've been absolutely epic on my fire team. Actually planning to put one in my X-Max with an adapter. Was running the old BLX-185. That system absolutely rips. Unfortunately, the motor, it looked like my end bell was starting to crack. So I went ahead and I swapped this motor, basically bummed it off my Traxxas sledge. The only downside is it's got the smaller M3 screws that attach on the face there. And this also has a plastic front end bell. We'll just see how this sucker does. I think it's around a 2000 kV. It's like a 4274 or 4074. I think I'm running an 18 tooth pinion, which pairs nicely with these smaller backflip LPs. Dropped in a Max 6. Of course, that's mounted on Kimberly's carbon fiber ESC mount. Also have her servo mount. Obviously, still running a 7075 M2C Racing chassis. M2C towers, both front and rear, aluminum chassis braces, and aluminum suspension mounts. Running M2C pistons front and rear, you'll notice I've got the Techno Orange springs up front, and I think I'm running outcast ones in the rear. As far as diffs, I think I'm running 200 weight in the center, 20K in the rear, and 50K up front, and running the 2000 CST in the shocks. Again, this sucker's just a little bit wider because I swapped in the crate and hubs and stub axles quite a while ago. And as you'll see, I'm running the M2C racing lugs. I found my first bash. This thing absolutely ripped at the lake. Feels super balanced and it's just awesome having a cage for those hard impacts and rolls. Shout out to my bash brothers. I also had my other caged beast, my fire team 6S out here, along with Orange Darling. We had the mega ramp set up. Winds were a little bit ridiculous, but definitely had a blast. It's feeling like it's in the mid 80s today. I haven't tested this system just yet other than a quick street run. We'll just see how the temps go. Way more ruts out here now, guys. Oh, she's a ripper. <laughs> Jump with these poles. <laughs> All right, guys, I just had a 180 towards the back of the can. That's definitely very toasty on the motor. And then it looks like I'm in the low 110s, 110s on the ESC.
Oh yeah. Poor LP. Probably get a piece of glass, beer bottle, something. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Kind of a short run today, but I got plans with the family. Once again, huge shout out to Kimberly for such killer upgrade options. Absolutely loving this Italian Desert Racer conversion. So far, the sledge motor and the Max 6 are working awesome. Again, my temps got up to about 180. It is pretty warm out here today. I might need to gear down just a bit, but it seems like it's going to be a solid combo. Shout out again to Rash Sheffren for the killer perfect pass servo. The steering on this thing is totally on point. All right, guys, until next time. That was awesome. Oh, gorgeous, son. Oh, the gorgeous. Beautiful. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, beautiful, Ian. Oh, <laughs> you see my body? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that's LBC with Orangey.